Hello and welcome to this landing eye review and what I'm going to be doing in this video is actually pretty much walking you through and giving you a demo of some of the popular features and of course my thoughts when it comes to this landing page builder. Now first and foremost depending on where you're watching this in fact whether it's on YouTube or my website down below I'll put a link to this where you can actually try it for 100% free no credit card needed and in fact even better if you do decide to use it you'll save 15% on it using my unique link down below. Also if you're watching this on YouTube I will also put a link down below where you can actually see more of this uh, landing I review in full detail. So with all that being said, let's get started with this. I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a new landing page. And as you can see right here, there's three options to start, which is going to be one, pick a template, two, upload a specific file, or they do have the ability to order a service where you can actually let them do most of the heavy lifting. For this, I'm just going to click on pick a template. So as you can see here, there are a lot of templates that you can actually choose from. This is something that I really look into and I really like when it comes to landing page builders. I believe that there's a few things that are going to help you get started and get up and running very quickly. One is going to be the simplicity of the software tool and two is going to be templates because with templates, you can pick one that you pretty much want to use and then just add in a few pictures, take out a picture, change the text, change the headline, you know, make your integration and you're going to be good to go. With all that being said, there's a lot of different sections sections that you can you know choose based upon industries whether it's going to be landing page goals or maybe you want all simple or premium templates now i want to kind of bring this up now in terms of the pros and cons there's not too many cons in course of when it comes to this but one thing i didn't care too much for is that a lot of the really good templates aka the premium templates they're going to be associated with at least the middle pricing plan when it comes to this so if you get the core and basic plan you won't be able to use some of the premium ones not a really big deal but i know sometimes that if you're going to be looking through a lot of these you're going to see a few premium ones that you're like wow that one's really good i want to use that but uh, just kind of nitpicking a little either way as you can see they are pretty good they're simple which is something that i love uh and if you scroll down a little bit more if i scroll down i'm just going to show you kind of what you can expect when it comes to a lot of these templates Pretty much what I'm going to do is just pick one and then I'm going to edit it really quickly just to show you what it's like. Okay, scrolling down a little bit more. I remember I counted. There's definitely over a hundred of them, even if you include the premium ones, but there's going to be plenty of them that you can, you know, choose from and decide. Either way, let's go to simple templates. Okay, I'm going to start off with something very simple. And what do we have here? Let's go with the simple. Actually, no, let's not go with that one. Let's go with simple one. Okay, this is probably the simplest possible. I'm just going to do use template. All right, and so after a few seconds that it takes to load, here we are in the simple landing page drag and drop editor. Now, my first impressions of this, I do like this. It does remind me of a few other editors I've used before, kind of like Unbounce and Instapage. The cool thing about it is that it is a true drag and drop editor, which means that if you want to drag any of these sections over here, you can drop them anywhere you like on the page. You're not restricted to specific sections and so on and so forth. There's also more to this landing page. So for example, let's say we had an image. I could literally just drop it. Oops, there's me but I can put it anywhere I want. I'm not saying it's gonna look good, but this is literally a true drag and drop editor. If you've used other landing pages before, sometimes you'll be locked into specific positions, which can be really annoying because then you gotta move around other things. I do like that about it. That was the first thing that came to mind. I'm gonna to happen to like it, okay? So I'm just gonna remove that. But for example, we already have an image here. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, this is background, so on and so forth. I'm gonna actually delete this, okay? Then what I wanna do is actually move the image here. There's me, and let's do save and close. And there I am. Let's actually make me a little smaller. And a little bit more, whoops. There we go. So that would look something like that. Obviously, if you want to edit your text, you're just double clicking. I'm gonna put headline here, supporting statement. Okay, once again, you know, enter your best email below okay and let's click on this so we can obviously do these settings when it comes to this so they do have a lot of templates when it comes to the sections which is something i like so i believe i forgot which one is highlighted there's also the horizontal forms obviously the vertical ones as well but they have the form fields which is really cool obviously this is pretty much a requirement because you're going to need at least an email or something else but for example let's say i want to capture the most amount of leads i'm just going to ask for the email so something like this could say you know uh, email 
we could say uh, enter your best email here. And this is going to be required, okay? So let's just say that's how we want it. Then we have integrations. I'm going to walk you through just showing you some of these that you can add. It really depends on the plan that you have, which is another kind of like thing that threw me off. Uh, I'm not sure right at this moment which integrations come with which plans but that's something you can check on their pricing page okay these are just a few of them that they have general settings and of course autoresponder which you would have to upgrade to their biggest plan if you want to use so i haven't gotten to personally test that out given the fact that they use i use a separate email autoresponder either way let's save and close and as you can see Let's actually move this down. Like I said, pure drag and drop. You don't have to like mess around with how many pixels is this away from that, you know what I mean? And so on and so forth and scrolling down a little bit more. Uh, it's pretty simple to change, which is something I really like. I think the biggest thing here is when it comes to a lot of different landing page builders is that you wanna find a template that you really like and then you can just pretty much change a few things. For example, I put my picture here, I would put my headline here and of course whatever it is I have to offer you know, I could change this around too in terms of the call to action. Oops, wrong button. Click here. So let's move down. Where are we? There we go. Call to action would be, you know, click here to continue. I can change the color if I like to. Scroll down a little more. I like blue. Looks great. Sure. It's going to hit the save button. And something else that comes along with this landing page builder that is slightly different from anything else I've ever seen. Normally, when you want to create a main page, you're going to normally have a thank you page to go along with it, right? And usually what you have to do is you'll create the landing page, you'll have to back out of the editor, then you'll have to create a you know completely different and new landing page. What you actually do in this is they have the thank you page right here for you. So if you click on this, uh, this is probably one of the most basic thank you pages that you've ever seen before. But I think you get the idea is that the cool thing, you can edit your thank Thank you page within the same editor of your initial landing page. I thought that was cool. I thought that was unique and also different. Saves you a little bit of time. It's not going to be the most game changing feature in the world, but as someone who's used a lot of sales funnels builder and landing page builders, I think that's pretty helpful. Okay. So going back to the main page, there are a few things that you can do here. They have sections, text, images, icons, boxes, buttons, forms, videos, counters, and HTML. If you want to use HTML, you know, that's going to be up to you. It's cool that they do have counters. So I'm just going to kind of throw this anywhere. So this probably isn't a great spot for using it on a page like this. So let's just say I want to delete this. <clears throat> and I want to put this here. This could be great on a sales letter or something like that. But if you go to the settings, there's actually multiple templates for this as well. This is something I didn't realize until I, until I started messing around with it. I thought that was very helpful. So let's say I want to use that. You can actually change this around depending on, you know, do not repeat. There's a few others. For example, they have repeat every week. And then of course the countdown set time. Either way, I'm just going to click on save and close. And as you can see, there we are. We have a new timer. Like I said, that'd be good for landing pages. If you're going to be selling something or if there's any type of deadline, you know, feel free to use that. So that's pretty much a very quick demo of the landing page editor. So all in all, my first impressions were that it's very simple. It's smooth. It's easy to use. It's a true drag and drop editor. And I feel that's exactly what you should be getting when it comes to a landing page builder. I don't really have any specific nitpicks when it comes to this. You know, it does what it's supposed to. And I overall like it. Okay. So that's kind of a quick demo of what you can expect when it comes to building landing pages. I'm going to hop on over and do one more cool feature that comes along with landing eye that you might not be familiar with. Let's hop on over to it so you can see exactly what it's all about. All right, so here we are, and this is actually done in a pretty much the same way you use to create landing pages, and this is going to be for pop-ups. If you're not familiar with what a pop-up is, uh, they're awesome. Some people hate them, some people love them. I happen to love them. There are those things where if you're ever on a website or a landing page and you go to move and say exit, and a pop-up will appear just like this, and it'll say like, hey, would you like to get a discount? Or hey, would you like to sign up for our newsletter? Whatever it's going to be, it's a great way to increase your leads, your sales, your conversions, and I highly recommend using them, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So once again, let's go to choose template. And just like you're creating a landing page, it's going to be the same exact process, except once again, they have many templates when it comes to creating pop-ups. I'm going to scroll down very quickly just so you can get a good idea of what they have to offer. And there's going to be a few different types of reasons why you might want to use these. For example, ones where you're going to be looking to get subscriptions for you know email subscribers. Maybe if you want to do a discount contest or contest giveaway, if you want to do some type of cross sell or even a contact form where it says maybe you want someone to reach out to you for ask for specific pricing and so on and so forth. I happen to like this one because it's very simple. And even though it's for contacting, I'm going to use this just so I can edit very quickly. Once again, I'm giving it a name and then of course start editing. 
All right, so this should look pretty familiar to you. As you can see, this is going to be the same exact editor that we have used. Just about nothing has changed except for the fact that it's a smaller screen in the middle here, and this is going to be for the pop-up. So if I want to change this, I can actually click on here, do change image, and once again, I'm gonna use a picture of me and click on save and close. And just like that, there I am. Maybe I wanna change the colors now, so I'm gonna click on this background. And I like blue because my website has a lot of blue, so we could do something like a little lighter. Sure, that looks good. Then I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna change this as well so it matches. And just like that. So, send me an email, okay? This was an example of, you know, contact or reaching out. Maybe someone uh, fell on your page and you want them to reach out to you. It might be for, you know, booking a coaching call, a strategy session, for asking for a specific price, for coaching, whatever it's going to be. There's plenty of reasons why someone might want to reach out to you. Remember, these can be used for a lot of different reasons. This is just for obviously contacting. And once again, since this is a contact form, whether you're gonna be contacting someone through name or phone, you can obviously change that. So if I went to settings, name's gonna be pretty important because if you're gonna be reaching out to someone, you do need to know their name, unless you're gonna say like, hey, you reached out to me, what's your name, what do you need, okay? Probably not the best way of uh, getting started with it, so you can keep that. When it comes to phone, if you wanna use phone, that's fine, it could be email, but that looks pretty good from my perspective. And of course, then they would hit contact me. And once again, as you'll notice, there is the thank you page, which you'll wanna edit this too, <laughs> given the fact that I don't wanna change into that person. So let's just do save and close. Once again, if I wanna use the background, I think I still have it saved in terms of the color. Perfect, so now it actually matches, see? Looks pretty good if you ask me, so that's thank you. We'll be contacting you soon, or we will contact you soon, just to give a good idea of what you can expect when it comes to creating a pop-up. Now, that was very quick. In fact, it'd probably be even quicker if I was just looking to say direct someone to maybe a different landing page, maybe I wanna offer a discount or pretty much if I wanted someone to sign up for my email list, this would be the same except the headline would be different and maybe a little bit more enticing in terms of what they're gonna be getting when they sign up. So I'm gonna click on the save button. Remember, this is just a demo example. And then after once that saves, I'm gonna to go to the next spot where I can show you some of the triggers and how you can actually use this when it comes to landing pages and websites. All right, so here we are when it comes to adding to a landing page or an external website. For example, I could click on add landing page. What I can do is just click on this one that I had created before, I'm gonna do save, and that's fine with me. <coughs> You can always add external pages, which is good to know. So if you have a website where you wanna use this, uh, that's very helpful. I'm just gonna hit cancel because I'm not doing that. So that's saved on that. Let's go to next, okay? Now is triggers. Triggers is pretty much when do you want this to show up? There's actually four different ways that you can use, and you can use any of these that you want all at the same time. I personally recommend just exit intent right here. That's my favorite. So what that means is once the mouse goes and hovers over kind of where the URL bar or the X is on the exit out window or the back button, that's when it's gonna show up. But let me talk about these. So time spent on website. Pretty much if someone comes to your website and then once it hits this specific amount of time, it's going to fire. I don't like that as much because usually the person is reading and it's gonna be more of a distraction, so that's my opinion. This is the scroll depth. So for example, this is about 50% of the page. You know, So if you have a really long page, it's once they get around to 50% of it, that's going to be when it fires. That could be helpful that if around that specific percent you talk about something that's going to be in your newsletter, where it could say like, hey, I talk about this in my newsletter and as they're reading it, then it pops up. That would be like a perfect time to use it. But once again, in my opinion, I like the exit intent because I know they're pretty much done with whatever's on the page and it's less intrusive because they're about to leave and it's a great way to catch their attention one more time in case they happen to miss a sale, a discount, or a specific website or a landing page that they need to see. Last but not least, if they click on an element, I'm not too popular with this one because if they're clicking on something, there's a good chance that they're not gonna wanna see an exit pop You know, once you know something happens. So unless you actually attach it to your pop-up showing up, I'm still the biggest fan of using exit intent. But that's just my opinion. Feel free to try any of these that you like just to see what works best for you. Next, let's go to frequency. So you can show on every visit. For these, you can only choose one, okay? You can show once on first visit. So every time the first visitor shows up on your landing page or your website, it'll show to them. Next, you can do always, or excuse me, show always after, so their second visit, their third, their fourth, so maybe you don't wanna show on the first, the second, the third, or the fourth. You could pick just like the fifth. 
okay, something like that, or show only on their, you know, visit two, visit one, visit three, not one, because that would be on the first one, but I think you get the idea when it comes to that. I like showing every visit, especially if I'm doing exit intent. Like I said, it's not really that distracting. They were about to leave, and it's a great chance to catch, obviously, their attention one last time. Let's go to next, and it says your pop-up is ready to go. Let's go to publish now. And just like that, the code has been installed on all of your websites. For all of your pop-ups, you install the code on only once on external websites outside landing eye platform. So you're going to be good to go with that. And if you had a website you want to use, it says right here, copy and paste the code to the head section of your website, which is going to be outside of the landing eye platform. You can copy the code and just like that, you'll be able to add it into your website. And they even have a few tutorials and instructions, especially for something like WordPress, which I know is very popular when it comes to websites. So that is pretty much how you can go about creating a pop-up, which is going to really help you increase your conversions. I know this because I've been using pop-ups for a long time now, and I really enjoy them. The fact that they come along with landing eye is a nice little perk. Okay. So before we wrap it up, I do want to talk about some of the pricing that comes along with landing eye. First and foremost, they do have three plans. They have core, they have create and automate. And the cool thing about it is that their pricing is pretty good. They actually have one of the best pricings when it comes to landing pages. I think they're very similar to lead pages. However, like I said, if you go through my link, you get a 15% discount on what's already shown here. So that makes it one of the lowest priced uh, landing page builders that you can get. So starting off with the core, you get unlimited landing pages. That is a huge perk. Okay. You also get a hundred thousand visitors per month, which is a lot. I know a lot of people probably aren't going to be using that. I know I wouldn't even be using that at this point, but if you're looking to do a good amount of volume, uh, that's definitely going to help you out. Five user accounts, you get support for email and you get 10 active pop-ups. Okay. Keep in mind, that's the core. As you get going on, you, your perks start to increase. For example, you get 10 custom domains, 150,000 visitors, you get unlimited pop-ups, and this is where you start to get your premium templates, okay, in the create. Then, of course, with the last one, which is gonna be $79 a month, you do get a lot of this stuff here. Uh, the biggest thing when it comes to this, you're now gonna be able to get funnels, advanced integrations, you get an autoresponder, and even the A-B testing, where you can actually split test a lot of your things. Okay, so with all that being said, my thoughts on this landing page is that I was pretty much uh, I didn't know too much about them, so I wanted to test them out like I do a lot of landing page builders. And I was pleasantly surprised with their simplicity when it comes to building landing pages and even pop-ups, which I walk you through and showed, you know, obviously in the previous 10 minutes or so. Um, if you're looking for a landing page builder that's pretty simple to use and also comes with some nice perks, including unlimited landing pages, and along with a nice price, I think it's going to be a good pick for you. Uh, in terms of pros and cons, I talk a lot about the pros. In terms of the cons, there were a few things that were just kind of nitpicking. For example, if you want to get those premium templates, you'll have to at least get the create plan or the automate plan. And if you want to use some of their advanced features like funnels, advanced integrations, and autoresponder and A-B testing, you're going to have to use the automate one. But as they say right here, the best value for money, that is a still a very good price when it comes to that. And I know a lot of people might not even need an autoresponder, for example, like I already have my own. I know a lot of people use their own, so that might not even be something that's needed. So that's just pretty much a little nitpick in terms of when it comes to the overall software, what you'll be able to use, and of course, the pricing. I do highly recommend that you check them out if you are interested in them. And once again, I will put a link down below where you do get a free trial, no credit card needed. And if you do decide to sign up, you will also get a 15% discount on these prices as it is. So based upon what you see here, it'll be 15% cheaper based upon the fact that I get to refer you. And instead of me getting you know more of a commission, I'm taking that off and giving you a 15% discount. So you're pretty much getting one of the best prices around. So I hope that helps when it comes to this landing I review. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And once again, I'll put the link in the description as well. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy Landing Eye.